Thanks for the way you were for music, LD. <laughs> yeah. Is that the Twitch music or is it something else? Oh, do you? Okay. I just recently started using the Twitch uh, soundtrack by Twitch. It's actually pretty good. There was decent music on it. Hello. Hi, sweet. How's it going? I'm okay. Yeah? Hey, good. sweet. <laughs> hey. Sorry, I'm a little late. I had to step out uh, this morning to take care of some stuff, and it's snowing, and, and uh, <laughs> ran a little late, but I'm here. now oh no i just need a fan on <laughs> okay good Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. As I say, we're all friends here. <laughs>
Welcome in, everyone. Good to see you. Actually, let me turn the stupid music off. <laughs> Give me a second. All right. Welcome in, everyone. How's it going? Good to see you all. All right. <clears throat> okay. So we got Mel, you got your camera on? Is Mel here? <laughs> I don't hear her. There you there are. There she is. Hey. Welcome in, everyone. Good to see you all. Let me just, well, I'll say hello to everybody. Um, I'm tr I trust my moderators and VIPs are mm -hmm. taking care of chat for me. I appreciate that. Welcome in, everyone, to episode three of our podcast. We have yeah. very nice, wonderful guests with us tonight. And, of course, the sweet reverie here co-hosting with us tonight. Hello. Good Today. morning, everyone. This Afternoon, morning. evening, wherever you are. <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna do our normal format, I guess. Um, same thing we did last time. We, uh, Sweet and I went over some generalized questions that are that work for everybody for the most part. So we don't have to really change it a whole lot. We add things as time goes on. It's like if some, something's happening in the, uh, in the game world or whatever, in the community or whatever, we'll add a question then. But so we're gonna have the same format. So it's good to see everyone. So shall we get started? All right. I'm ready. I'm ready, ready too. I'm ready too. I actually had to print everything out because, you know, my memory is I can't remember all that shit. Mel, I can't hear you. <laughs> Mel, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Me? Are you muted? No. no, Mel. Oh, Mel, are you muted? Yeah, Mel, you're muted. Yeah, Mel is muted on Discord. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. No, you Sorry, are. I thought I uh, muted my microphone, but I muted Discord. <laughs> and also, b maybe before we start, is everybody able to hear everyone? Yes. Let's just make sure that uh, so everybody in chat, too. Yes. Can you just give a thumbs yeah, up in chat, can. make sure we're all there? Hi, Tina Bug. Yep. Cuckoo. Hey, Amberty. Hey, Pam. Packer. Oh, my God. Mitchie. Everybody's hey, Luke. Here. Get everybody yeah. in here. Yeah, oh, we got cool everybody. Are here. Nice summer. <laughs> Cam, how are you? Um, hey, man. Tina Bug. Packer. Hey. Amber. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. So we're obviously not going to be able to answer everybody in chat, but, you know, if once in a while, if you see something, feel free to chime in. If you want to talk to somebody in chat, it's all good. Yeah. <clears throat> this is going to be free and free flowing with some kind of format, but you know, and we're going to try to keep it to two hours today if we can. Um, we try to have some kind of time limit on this podcast, otherwise, we could talk forever. Obviously, I could talk forever, so me too. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is, uh, Sweet and I will alternate asking questions that we prepared the, for each other. And of course, we're gonna have the wonderful sweet reverie. Gonna start first, but um, I think what we do is actually we introduce the guests first, right? Sweet. I think that's where we go first. Right? Everybody knows who they are. Everybody I'm knows everybody. We, we shouldn't. We should introduce them. But we're still gonna introduce them. We're still gonna introduce <laughs> them, of course. And we're gonna start. Uh, I think you can see we're gonna start like we'll do in a clockwise fashion like this, okay? And we'll start with, on the far left, is Fangirl Mel. I think everybody knows Fangirl Mel. She's yeah. a, a great supporter of the community and mm -hmm. has been with it for a very long time as well. Yeah, about uh, two wonderful years streamer. now. Yeah, very fun oh. to be around. Um, her streams are really entertaining. I, I do lurk her quite a bit. I don't always <laughs> say something in chat, but I'm usually there. And Lady Q, of course, next to her. Everybody say hello, Lady Q. I think everybody knows Lady Q too. She's everywhere. She's everybody's hello. moderator. She's there everywhere. I finally get to see her though. Yes, <laughs> yes. Everybody has a treat. Lady Q is a cam today. Yeah, excellent. Of course, everybody knows me. I don't really need to introduce myself. Everybody knows who I am. Of course, and below me is Sweet Reverie, Good who morning. is also a very wonderful supporter of the community and a great great person uh, and i'm happy to have her as a co-host and yeah. on my left is doom qc hi everybody doom's in the house doom is in the house doom. i thought you said you were cleaning your basement the other day yeah i did well it is it's it was a lot worse <laughs> than it is now there. let the let the heckling begin <laughs> i thought maybe you were stuck in a closet somewhere <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the trash bag is that that desk right there is the last thing I really got to finish cleaning there is that desk <laughs> because I want to start moving some things over there. I might actually change where my current workstation is right now and put maybe put it over there. So I got to clean nice. that shit up. That was a staging area for the rest of the place. I kind of picked it up and put it over there. And I said, this is the stuff I'll get later. <laughs> so <laughs> I apologize for the mess. I do my best. I'm not the tidiest person, but. All right, so let's get started. Go ahead, Sweet, if you want to start answering, uh, asking your first questions, and we can get started. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. All right. Okay, it's been a minute since we've done the podcast, so just bear with me a second. Absolutely. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. All right, so oh, Mel, shit. first things first. Okay. How did Goody. you find out about the long dark and what ex what it inspires you to keep coming back and playing and giving it your all? Um, I initially found out a friend of mine streamed it um once on her channel and I just saw how difficult it was to start with. And I don't know why that drew me to the game. <laughs> Apparently I'm a glutton for punishment. Um Yeah, it kind of seems yeah. to be the theme. <laughs> we I, I all like love the, it. Yeah, I liked all the snow in it because I'm from Michigan originally. I live in the UK now, but um, we don't get a lot of snow in the UK. So it kind of reminded me of Michigan. So that's initially why I wanted to start playing. Um, and then I found the lovely community and decided to stay. And um, the devs are also really great. Um, I like that there's regular updates to it. So it's become one of my main games now. I've got like 700 hours in it. <laughs> Ridiculous <laughs> like that. <laughs> Yeah, um, just cool fact. I am also from Michigan, so to hear yeah, that I is really you cool. I that. totally yeah. get it. It's snowing right now. The mitten Typical state. Typical Michigan. The mitten state. <laughs> yeah, the mitten state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. It's the only yep. state you can say where you live with your hand. So, right? So Sophia's cool. from there, too. Samurai <laughs> Sophia yeah. also lives we there, We have our too. own personal traveling map. <laughs> we exactly. don't need a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Well, awesome. Well, we're glad to have you streaming and sharing all your adventures Aww. with us. Um, you know, I, I unfortunately I haven't been able to catch like a ton of your streams, but I hope that changes in the future. Um, Aww, thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. So Lady Q, what about you? What, how did you find out about the game? My, I was, my husband plays a lot of games and I was, thinking, you know, I really want to play something. So we went through the Microsoft store on Xbox and um, found this trailer. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> like this dude, he's got something in his hand. He's pulling, I'm like, what? <laughs> so like, oh, is this hooked on that trailer? Then this was in, so this was in February, 2017. They had a, I think it was, uh, I think it ended up being 30 minutes of free, a free demo. And I was like, just, Oh my God, I need this game. <laughs> so yeah, so that was February, 2017. And I got about just over 4,200 hours into the game. Oh, that's Is cool. my game. It's not, I don't usually play anything else, but yeah. So um, yeah, I, I assume that a, oh, like, and, just and seeing it so, change so much over that amount of years. Oh, for sure. For I've sure. seen like sure. I've seen older videos on YouTube and everything, and I can't believe how old, like how different it looks. It's yeah. like a completely new game. Yeah. Well, even but, from even from uh, uh, Predux to Redux, there was yeah. there was such yeah. a difference. You know. Oh, I'm sure. Um, so speaking of Michigan, yes. Um, I'm about here. I think <gasps> I'm across so the river. Close. In Indiana. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I'm in like the southeastern area near Detroit. So nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close. That's cool. The Motor City. Yeah. <laughs> Small world. We're the Rose yeah. City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Okay, Doom, what about you? How did you stumble upon the long dart? Well, I don't quite remember it because it was in the early years of the game. It was maybe 12, uh, 2014 or something, probably. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, um, I saw this game probably uh, on some video on YouTube and I found it, it looked gorgeous. So I decided to buy it. I, I played a little at the time, but didn't quite stick. I wasn't really into survival game at the time. Then uh, I found out about another survival game that I play a lot, uh, Subsistence, for those who know. Uh, okay. And yeah. uh, I fell in love with this one. And after that, that's when I started to make video on YouTube and start uh, and really I retried. TLD at the time and really now I've, after that I felt in love with it. 
Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> no, it, yeah. it, it's a Canadian game, and I'm I'm French Canadian. For those who don't yeah. know, that's yeah. why the accent the accent. So sorry, but yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. That's uh, that Canada that, that, represent. That's game, yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> that's a game that that stuck with me because of this between some so many things. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, the only one that's not like I, in that northern area. <laughs> right, right. And I like Duke because he he could do French and English. You know, on the stream too. Oh, you know, that's cool. So it's, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, sometimes you go there; he's streaming in French, and sometimes he's streaming in English. <laughs> I can't yeah, I mostly French. I mostly do French, but if there's people coming in English, I don't mind switching. It gives me yeah. a, an excuse to practice, and <laughs> I like it. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's circle on back to Mel. Um, so, what difficulty are you most comfortable playing? Um, I've kind of started to try and play some interloper, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> it's about that. I, I miss the guns, so I prefer stalker most of the time. Um, okay. And or if I'm just kind of like playing on my own when I'm not streaming, I do like pilgrim because I just like wandering around. Really, it's it's yeah. it's nice to just be able to wander and just do things in the game. But I like the amount of loot in stalker, and I like being able to have the guns because I. <laughs> Really suck with the bow. I can't. I can't get on with it. So. I can answer for Lady Q's probably the same way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like the beauty of Pilgrim is you know it it just allows you to relax and and explore yeah. every day without fear of you know the predators and all that. Um, without having to duck into you know every little alcove to get warm and and out of the blizzards and all that. You know, I you still have a little I think bit it's of fun that, to but... uh, chase the bears on Pilgrim. Right. You don't normally get to chase them. It's not easy hunting on Pilgrim, as you know from the tournament, right? It's not. It's no. not. It's a chore. Yeah. I think that's probably one of the big factors of why I finally took that step to go into Voyager, because I started on Pilgrim. Yeah. Um, you know, I wanted more of that Predator experience and everything. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, in order to survive the higher difficulties, you have to know how to manage the wildlife. You have to yes. know how to do it. Shush, Packer. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> okay packer <laughs> all right excellent and lady q what about you what difficulty do you play and why do you like it primarily now stalker um for a long time i played pilgrim and voyager in the early day in the early years um but then i jumped to stalker and it, it just loved it and then i got angry because couldn't do anything because of all the wolves I didn't know about the torch and stone trick then, by but uh, uh. then, um, and then once I discovered Twitch, I realized I was watching people. I could do interloper, and uh, I did that for a little while. I did everything I wanted to do, and then now I'm just back to stalker again. Sometimes um, a Voyager run, but yeah, I, I love stalker. I mm. find it the perfect balance. And like I said, now that I know the torch and stone trick perfect <laughs> yeah stalker's yeah. more interesting i think yeah because you have more um you never know what the animals are going to do and you've got more of them and you're not just worrying about the weather all the time right right yeah 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 i think I'm... i need to take that next step into stalker soon yeah <laughs> yeah you could do it no you could do it sweet you know enough about the game at least at least mm -hmm. at least by watching so many people i mean you yeah, can absolutely. certainly do it you know you just got to do although although seeing is a lot different than putting that's it into true. practice no, so that's true. it that's will true. definitely <laughs> take a few attempts i i'm sure oh, but absolutely, you know yeah. I, I think i could do it well know, so. most of my you know everybody knows i have a boatload of hours and most of them are stalker hours myself i played stalker for okay. a long long time before going to interloper and i only probably have you know, two thousand interloper myself. So it's it's just I will really say, something that I don't you gotta mind. work into. I will say I don't mind playing stalker with loper weather. That's fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fun. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Throw a little custom game in there. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that actually might help with the weather too, because it's so drastic um compared to what I'm used to. So that would be that would be a good thing to try. So <laughs> All yeah. right, dude. What about Custom you? What kind of? Real... Oh, sorry. Custom is a real nice thing to have. Yeah. I think. A chip. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So many options. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, what about you, Doom? What kind of uh, what difficulty do you like to play? 
Well, I'm playing Loper uh, for about a year now. Before okay. that, I was more of a Voyager player. Uh, but yeah, I, I really oh. like Loper right now. You uh, jumped from gonna... Voyager to Loper. Yeah, I, I played a little bit of Stalker, but I really didn't like didn't like it. There was really too much wolves for me. <laughs> so, yeah, there is yeah. a lot of wolves. That's for I hear sure. that a lot. <laughs> yeah, it well, is the wolf like the mode. Buffers. They call it the wolf <laughs> mode, right? <laughs> I think my best run in Loper is way higher in time than than what I did in Stalker, basically. But yeah, generally I'm gonna play Loper. I'm gonna play sometimes. I'm gonna go custom Loper and try just changing a little little something, like I did the uh, Endless Night Loper. That was real fun and bring uh, a different, ex totally different experience for just changing one setting and. Just the fact that there's no light in there, there's never gonna be light in any any time, so you're gonna need some so many more torches and that's yeah. cha that changed the the whole experience. Doom, when you play Endless Night, does it bring on more auroras? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I know that just, mode. Just because there's more night. I've played Relentless Night mod for quite a while too. I love that mod. It's awesome. You talk about Relentless Night or, or Endless Night? Uh, no, no, not not the mod. Just just going the oh. custom setting and putting oh, right. Endless Night. That that's a setting they added when they did after the, the night, after Dark the Walker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. The, okay. Yeah, the Walker. The gotcha. Gotcha. Those are the badges that you earn, and you earn the right to do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Got it. All right, LD, you are up next. All right, all right. We'll start, of course, in the with Mel here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead with my questions, and I'm gonna say these are some pretty good ones. I like them. So, uh, Mel, can you share some funny moments about the game with you or someone else? Yeah. I think like um I'm just thinking of the first time I ever killed a wolf in the game. Um <laughs> <laughs> it was not a good experience. I think I was actually playing on um Voyager, which I never play on nowadays. But I think I was starting out on Voyager and I killed a wolf. It was in HRV. Um I killed him from like above and I went down to get like the corpse and stuff and I think I harvested and then like as I was harvesting it, a bear came and <laughs> so much and i can remember running for like a rope and just barely making it up the rope and then taunting the bear at the top <laughs> <laughs> and then when i got to the top of the rope guess what was there a wolf mm. oh no oh my gosh. <laughs> <He got me. laughs> that's I funny it transported from oh, one no. place to the, the other instant to get you. karma mm. exactly it's like i thought i was well ahead and then another wolf got me and i died and that's <laughs> Yeah, never get too comfortable with TLD. <laughs> That's no. when they get good. <laughs> yeah, the game and control also, you at any moment. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the other one is when we were doing the bases tournament, I was like really far behind, and I was like, oh, I still need to kill two more wolves. I couldn't get any wolves in um, Bleak Inlet, and I was about to give up, and I went up the rope to Bleak Inlet, and there was just like a glitch wolf at the top just waiting for me oh no and he was fine i i shot him and he just stood oh. there while i shot him which was perfect it's like that. yay I got all right I'm here. shoot me <laughs> <laughs> he was like literally it's like i need another wolf and it's like oh here's one <laughs> yeah <laughs> perfect <laughs> when you mentioned bleak at first and i'm like ah there's her mistake there she's in bleak that is not an easy place especially to get the wolves because yeah you can't fall back on a fire or a torch very much no, because of all no. the freaking wind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. The wind is brutal, oh especially God. bleak. God, it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind bleak too much. I think it's one of my favorite regions, but I play mostly on Pilgrim. It's a when beautiful I'm going, region. Going there. So it's, it's, yeah. it's pretty. It's interesting looking because of all the graffiti and stuff. But <laughs> you don't want to be there on Stalker or Interloper. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't imagine. Yes, no reason to go there on Interloper <laughs> yet. Hopefully, hopefully they fix that soon. Yeah. Right. Excellent. Thank you, Mel. I appreciate that. That was, that was a good story. Thanks. Lady Q, um, I know you have a good amount of hours since this came to you. I'm sure you could come up with something. You know, it, it's only just been recently. This was so hilarious. I got the PV bear by the farmhouse. And I got the bear over by the rope to Signal Hill. 
<clears throat> had a couple of blizzards, but I had already harvested them into bags. So then I had to wait. And so I micro harvested the one by the farmhouse. And the next day I was micro harvesting the one, which was actually on the road, not too far up from the little barn at the end of the driveway. And I just finished micro harvesting, finished and mauled. No. <laughs> and uh, he had respawned in that time and mauled me. And I'm like, oh, oh my, my gosh. That's a little similar <laughs> to what happened in my stream. I was harvesting and a bear just came up and mauled me. And oh. and desolation point just uh, last night. And I know better. Like it's in the middle. It's in the middle of the open. And it, I'm like, what an idiot! <laughs> oh no! That's you always funny. regret it afterwards. <laughs> oh, I killed Great. him. I did not regret it. <laughs> good, I picked good. Myself up too. Payback's a bitch. <laughs> right. Very very nice, Lady Q. Thank you. And Doom. Well, um. When I when I stream, uh, I put those uh, those sound alerts with animals, and my chat have a real <laughs> fun scaring the living hell out of me. Yeah, I'm really uh, I'm really bad at jump scare, and <laughs> some of them start to know the game pretty good because either it's people playing or whatever, and they they know exactly when there's possibility yeah. of mm -hmm. a wolf or a bear, yeah. and, <laughs> and <laughs> some of them. Can get me real good. <laughs> I know it's me. I'm putting the sound alert right there. I'm torturing myself, but it's funny. <laughs> Another thing I really love is uh, hey, Philly. I find funny. It's bad, but well, I like to bully, bully the wolves to steal their uh, their kills when I'm a kitty running around hearing hearing a deer dying, and I'm like, okay, there's a wolf there. I'm gonna yeah. get his lunch today. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Sorry, I have a guest. My cat's here. <laughs> She's yelling at me. Oh, kitty I love kitties. I love kitties. I have me four too. of them. <laughs> I don't love them enough. I gotta have four of them. <laughs> She's my little gamer buddy. She probably has stories about the long dark when she was like, yeah. Mama, run away from the wolf. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yep. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. We're back to Mel again. Um, can you remember your funniest and wackiest game glitch and i know there's many that's, yes i mean what do you pick but can, one that like really sticks in your memory to being like you know hey something you always remember when something happens yeah i mean i i like the one with the wolf being at the top of the rope for me glitch but there was also in the same game in the same run we had so many glitch wolf i had one that was um uh it was at broken railroad at the hunting lodge and it was up a tree at the very top of the tree and it was just sitting up there like howling constantly and oh um this is why i was getting used to using the bow so i tried to shoot it down with the bow <laughs> and i did hit it <laughs> but it died on the top of the tree so i had to try and make my way up the tree uh, to retrieve oh, it oh wow really which i did get oh in that's the awesome oh, that's wow. cool but when I harvested, half the meat went to the ground and half stayed on the tree. Which is <laughs> wow. Which is pretty funny. It doesn't surprise yeah. me. This game is full of glitches like that. Well, I was just worried it was going to run off the um, the tree when I hit it. And it's like, please don't come after me. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't. It stayed on the tree. It, got, it was really good and stuck there. <laughs> you should have got like a tree climbing achievement on that exactly. one. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's that pretty tree good everybody that everybody uses when they um, hunt moose so that the moose doesn't kill them. So yeah, <laughs> the that's the top really instead. cool. You're able <laughs> nice. to retrieve it, though. That's really awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, Lady Q, I'm sure that you have something as well. I'm sure all of us could come up with something. It certainly wasn't funny because it still hurts almost five years later. <laughs> but <laughs> I, <laughs> I was at Trapper's and I needed a whetstone. And I knew there was one at camp office. So I went to camp office, got my whetstone, went up, went back out the door, went, oh, maybe I could go up to uh, Forestry Lookout and see if I can get some more ammo. So the thing about this game is if you don't stick to the plan, you're doomed. Mm -hmm. So I didn't stick to my plan. I go up there. Everything's great. I go up there. I get my ammo. I loot a little bit more. I go out the door. I'm falling. I'm like, why am I falling? Oh, and then God. I died. The stairs glitched away. Oh, no. Like, oh, my oh, God. No. 
it still hurts. That was a 237 day Voyager run. Oh my gosh. Hurts. Wow. That's, that's, <laughs> that's definitely a, not a good glitch right there. Oh man. That was pre do. <laughs> right. Okay. Wow. 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 Yeah. yeah. I'm like, no, why am I falling? <laughs> Great. Wow. That, so it ended your run. And every time saying. I go there, I, I look to see if the stairs were there. I don't, I don't you just would. go. There. <laughs> well, I'd be like reluctant to go up there every time now, every run, especially on long <laughs> runs. I'd be like, do I want to go up there sure. now? <laughs> we got to figure out a way how to go down from there then because. <laughs> right, 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 right. Awesome. Okay, Doom, same question to you. Well, uh, when, uh, Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> no worries. Funny glitch. Mm -hmm. uh, I, well, I haven't encountered a lot of glitch, uh, but one of them was uh, was uh, I was tracking a, this bear near uh, near Quonset uh, in the coastal highway, and I suddenly sensed me and like turn 80, 180 degree on me, so he turned back on me. But instead of turning like on itself, he kind of have uh, he pivoted around a, a point on an axis before in front of him, like five meter around him. So he kind of spinned around. It was kind of funny. It was it, it was really weird. <laughs> it threw me <laughs> off. I was like I was aiming, ready to shoot, and he basically not teleported, but slided like. A few meters away, and I was like, "What the hell?" Mm -hmm. And were you able to get him in the end? Like, like, well, oh, I yeah, like, he I was going him. around and around like this. Is that what you're saying? No, like no, no. He circle? stopped spinning at, at, at oh. going after me, but <laughs> I've seen him <laughs> skating and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's always a win when you get him in the end. It is. Yeah, at the very least, I got him. <laughs> That's good. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing, guys. That was really good. <laughs> Okay. I have a little something to add. Oh, yes, please do. Um, it's it's not in the long dark, but last night while uh, Tina, A.V., and I were playing toward the end of our um, Call of the Wild stream, mm -hmm. um, Tina shot a moose, and it was on, like, the lake, and it just ascended up in the air, and it went really high, and then it just started to come back down and then it floated away into the forest and it, it was, was going to heaven wasn't it oh my god <laughs> it was so freaking funny like it yeah it, it just i had to share it because it just happened and yeah there is we some were dying there is some glitchiness in that game for oh. sure i've seen a few of it too sweet <laughs> yeah, yeah so. that game's not perfect either that's for sure <laughs> I've seen them standing there. I'm shooting them, and they're just standing there. I've seen all kinds of stuff in that game. Too. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> when you're dealing with animal AI, AI, it's it's kind of hard to pinpoint all that. I guess, yeah. from a developer standpoint, I'm not sure, but yeah, yeah. And I don't mind stuff like that. I think it's funny as hell. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome, sweet. That's awesome. Okay, uh, moving right along here. Um, I'm going back to Mel here. Uh, if you could add any food a food item in the game, what would it be? Uh, I think I've got like two things. First of all, pancakes for the syrup because it's kind of ridiculous to have the syrup without pancakes. Ooh, yeah, and uh, like, like every that. time I see that picture in one of the houses with the pancakes, it's like, where are the pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and then also horse for Astrid. I I, I think she needs her horse finally. <laughs> what we need to give her horse mate mm -hmm. <laughs> not that i'd want to eat it but astrid definitely does she always has a craving for it <laughs> or add a little bottle of cinnamon in the game you can say here's your tree bark astrid because <laughs> that's what cinnamon is is tree bark <laughs> oh she'd love that <laughs> mm -hmm. nice that's cool lady q i would say pancakes too but i'm not sure how you'd make them without the milk no yeah, it's true 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 anyway but my two are um, instant oatmeal packets. I think that'd be great. And craft dinner. Oh, craft, craft dinner. Craft, yes. All, you need, is, all craft you need dinner. is water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, mac we need a little butter and milk for the. I was just gonna cheese say sauce, mac and cheese still... would be so good. Mm -hmm. You have to pay a premium for it in England. So if you want mac and cheese, it's not it's not readily available here. Oh so. really? 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 Wow. Wow. Hey, no. <laughs> 
Mel, the company I work for, I've got a shipping discount. I can ship you a whole bunch of it if you want. I will literally take advantage of that. That sounds great. Because <laughs> like literally I have paid like seven dollars for a back a box of um <gasps> mac and cheese before here. Oh it's my really god. Here. That's, That's insane. crazy. Wow. <laughs> and I'm, I'm mad at buck fifty a box. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. used to up until recently, I think they used to just be a dollar. Now they're they were a dollar. Yeah, yeah, they just went yeah. up, sweet. Yeah, they were a dollar. One box. of those yeah. random foods you don't see very often in England, unless it's like in an import store, and it's always expensive. And that and like cereal, like Lucky Charms, you can pay twelve, thirteen dollars a <gasps> box most of the time. Oh my god, Lucky that's Charms. like double. That's insane. Why do you live there, Mel? Why do you live there? <laughs> <laughs> Free healthcare for you? Uh, <laughs> well, free yeah. healthcare, but you're paying a million dollars for. Uh, I eat other for food. mac and cheese. Move to Canada. We got free healthcare. Uh, yeah, awesome. we got free healthcare, I mean, and we I'm, got craft dinner for it. days. Yeah, we got craft dinner and free healthcare. And snow. And, and snow. snow. Way too much. <laughs> Doom gets a lot of snow. I don't get hardly any here. Well, we're we're noted, known as like the Florida of Canada. So we really, it's snowing today, but this is the most we've gotten in, I don't know, well, at least since winter began. Yeah. And there's about two centimeters out there right now. So well, this year, this year, it's not that bad. Well, in fact, it's kind of strange. It's like it's the winter never started. We never had yeah. Some, yeah. Th that much snow when I think one yeah. day was under minus 10 which is ridiculous mm -hmm. I think we Fe measure snow February in... it's going to be cold as hell Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we measure mm -hmm. snow in millimeters here in England because that's how little snow we get <laughs> yeah is that all of England or just certain areas because um, I'm not sure northern half gets more but yeah. the area I live I live in the south and the east uh, like the southeast part of right. England okay. and we barely get any snow I uh, think I've seen we've had two like little flurries of snow this year so far might get some in Feb sometimes we get a little bit in February but not not likely well maybe sweet and summer and all of them could send you some <laughs> they all live in the up northern Midwest so they get snow all the time there especially Michigan hey Wendy yeah yep. mm-hmm <laughs> Okay. Hey, Per, how you doing? Welcome in. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I am trying to catch everybody that comes in and say hello, but hello, everybody, anybody that came in and I missed. Welcome in. Okay, so uh, did we get Doom? Uh, Doom, what food would uh, no. you like to add to the game? About food, I'll go with uh, um, maybe different flavors of like MREs, chips, uh, different kind of canned fruit uh make it a little bit of var variety variety i this i this word <laughs> eggs and <laughs> like, bacon <laughs> re, re, it's basically risky reskin some items but as for a natural food i'd go with uh maybe being, being able to cook some pine needle tea oh i find that strange that we can make birch bark tea but no pine needle it, it's pretty good it's pretty good it's pretty okay. easy to, to make yeah i think it's I am vitamin C or something. That's that's pretty tasty. Maybe, yeah. you know, and this is not really a spoiler because I think most people know about this from going to the wiki, uh, the big announcement that Hinterland had, but about the acorns. Maybe yeah. that is something oh, that yeah. could be made that's into some flour, kind of That's going to be flour, I think, LD, because you can make acorn flour, so. Yeah, you can. Exactly. So maybe we won't, might get pancakes. It would be not or really bread. Cakes, but... or bread. You can make bread. All you need for bread is, is water yeah. and flour. Ooh, cake. Because you yeah. can make cake with soda. So you can soda and flour. That's cake, pretty yep. much. Yep. <laughs> and the and the burdock root. Oh right. yeah. I think that's going to be for an illness, but that we don't know about yet. So <laughs> on the cob. What else are they going to afflict us with? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's another thing, you know. But we'll talk about that in a little bit um, as we move on. All right, well, thank you all for your answer. That was awesome. Okay, I'm moving on to my last question of this segment. And we're going to say, uh, Mel, what kind of new mechanics would you like to see added to the game? Like different ways to make food recipes, yeah. full siphoning, cars, things like that. I've heard people say they would love to be able to siphon the fuel siphon out of the cars for accelerant yeah. and stuff. I mean, I 
really want to be able to decorate a house properly, like be able to move the furniture. And I know there is a mod to do that, and that might be coming, but that's mm. something I've really, really wanted. Because when I when I play, I tend to make bases, and I, I stay in one part for a while because I'm on Stalker or Pilgrim, so I'd like to do that. Um, silly things. I'd like a like a pet. I'd like a pet wolf that I could domesticate or a pet bunny that mm. follows me around or a fox. I know, once again, there's a mod, but I've played a lot of Among Trees, which, which has a little fox friend. And I love that oh, little fox yes. friend so much. So yes. I, I'd love to have that. Like, if we could have, like, just a little pet with us. I mean, ideally, I'd love a cat, but I don't think it's going to happen in the game. So I'll take a wolf or a bunny instead. <laughs> I mean, the cougar's coming, so you could try to tame that. I am, I am, I am planning to boop that cougar and be friends with it. <laughs> that would be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just responding to somebody in chat. Yeah, Wendy, I'll just speak to you. Yeah, I would love to have a cat, too. I would love to have a cat or some kind of pet in the game. It would be really cool. Dog would be okay as well. Yeah, anything I'm like on that. 100% on board with the fox. I love that idea, they, but you yeah. guys know me and foxes. <laughs> yeah, sweet. There they do a really have a fox game. mod. They do have yeah. a fox mod, but yeah. the only thing I don't like about yeah. the fox mod is that I don't really like the looks of the fox that they added into the mod. It's kind no. of... Okay. Pale, her, kind of, it. yeah. They need to work on her, that. That's a an bit. awesome idea. Look at what Purr just posted. Oh yeah, about the eggs. Yes, that does make sense. Yeah. I completely forgot about them coming in. Oh yeah. I have no idea why oh. you say that, but no, me either. <laughs> hey, um, bye. How you doing? There is a game called Red Lantern, which you have a dog sled team, and that also is a very good one because you do hunting in that as well. So. Uh, yeah. So you could have a doggy like that. You you could have like a if we're gonna get a sled eventually, maybe we have a dog sled. Mm, good you idea. That would be really cool. Per just posted cool. something about eggs, tar tarmogen eggs. That's mm -hmm. a good idea. You know, the new tarmogen that's coming into the game. You could do something with those eggs. Pet horse. <laughs> it's all about those pancakes. <laughs> yeah. All right, Lady Q. New mechanics you would like to see? Um, one for sure. Two is just for fun. Um, be able to move cardboard boxes because then the cougars oh. won't bother you. <laughs> yes. Every yes. cat loves a cardboard box. <laughs> um, yes. But the uh, since episode four, I've always wanted to get that that saw, so we could saw uh, logs, actual tree oh. limbs, like logs. That would be sweet. I know what you mean. The saw from the story mode there. You have to cut your, uh, mm, you cut your ropes the, off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If we could get that saw, that would be sweet. Yeah, maybe to cut down the cutting time. I mean, an hour and a half yeah. to cut a limb is a little bit too brutal on interloper. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I know. It's like they tease you with it, but yet you can't do it. <laughs> yeah. It's too funny. Doom, same question to you, my friend. Well, to continue with, uh, well, maybe it would be cool to bring those those trees to uh, the, those big branch to carry them on the ground, like when you carry uh, the um, car batteries, it's super heavy. Mm -hmm. You you move slowly, but you can move it. It would be nice. But mm -hmm. what I what I really want to see, and I'm, it's not the first time I say it, but I want a compass a compass in this game. Ah, yeah, very I mean, good. We, yeah. We kind of know the maps by now yeah. if, for those who are experienced, they played for a long time, but there's still some maps I don't really know well. And that's why mm -hmm. I personally use Pilgrim, but having a real compass, playing compass and, uh, and the, with the map and compass, uh, that's something that I would love to see that I love to see, uh, not exploration, but, um, navigation in the survival game that's something i really like to see yeah, yeah. Uh, i think compass would be in handy during a blizzard too right yeah oh for sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it would be so great and plus we're getting new regions too so there mm. are going to be maps that we don't know yeah. so that would be very yeah. helpful yeah i'm very excited for that sweet for sure new maps i'm always excited for new maps in this game yeah because <laughs> i always say the Long Dark is one of the, I think, the more realistic survival games that I know yes. of. Uh -huh. But uh, map knowledge uh, from the game, uh, knowing the map by heart, is not something that's really realistic. Using a compass when in survival situation makes 
makes more sense than me knowing learning the the the, the maps by heart you know right yeah i'm actually TV. going to i'm sorry go ahead doom yeah and uh, another thing uh i would like to see it's it's a nitpick but i'd like to be able to eat more than one cattail at a time and sharpen yes. my blade yes. more than one bat yeah, at a time yeah. i painfully Just... learned that during the tourney it is excruciating to sit there and click on every mm -hmm. single cat yeah, tail. yeah. yeah. It, it, it's boring i mean if i want to eat yeah. 10 cattails cat i got right. to change them to one by it. one mm -hmm. yeah yep 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 and i and I want to see more clothes crafting option. I really like crafting, the crafting clothes mechanic, the crafting, yes. yeah. just crafting gear in general. I really like it in this game. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty easy to make a skirt. You just grab the curtains and cut a hole. Wow, skirt. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You're right. You get your sewing kit. You're all good to go. You're right. <laughs> exactly. There's, Fun thing about cattails. There's, there's two, two things. Oh, I'm sorry. And you only get one of each. Well, that's true. Yeah, no, that's true too. There's two, and you only get one. You're right. You're right. Also, crafting socks that would be yes. super easy as well. And I'm not sure why we don't have that, but hopefully, it'll be there in the future. I have two things yeah, with socks would make that sense. I know that most people will agree with. One of them is you should be able to move a carcass. You should be able yes. to yes. pick it up and move it, it because. Yeah. As a hunter, you a normal hunter would do that. They pick up their deer, they bring it yep. to the truck or whatever, and take it home. You should be able to move it to a cave or a nearby place. There is a mod called yeah. Relentless Night yeah. that allows you to move a carcass. Now it's very oh, heavy, wow. obviously, and it yeah. weighs you down, but you should be but able to do doable. that. But it's doable. Yeah. And the I second if we'll thing be able is, to put it on the travois. That's what I'm thinking too. That's what yeah. travois yeah. is for. Hopefully. Right. Hopefully. And the second thing is, if you can craft a bare bedroll, you should be able to craft a regular bedroll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, should, yeah. Yes, for they sure. They should allow that option. And so it should like, cost sure, you. Maybe blankets. make it difficult. You require a ton of cloth. A ton of cloth. should be doable. Yeah, and some yeah. guts. And some guts. But you should yes. be able to do one. Because you yeah, can do absolutely. a bare bedroll. Yeah. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Those are the two things that I would come to mind right away. Absolutely. All right, great. Um. Okay, sweet. We're gonna. Oh, move on. Chip makes oh. a good point in the chat too about a moose would be very difficult to move. So I I agree. Maybe some mm. of the more heavier animals, it may not be possible. True. But for yeah. sure, deer and and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. wolves. Deer and wolves. Yeah. yeah. You can yeah. drag a wolf on on the snow. For, yeah. For sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. bear and moose. I could agree that'd be very difficult. Too heavy, but. Um, at least deer and wolves. Even in the mod that I was just talking about, you can't do it with bear and moose. You can only do it yeah. with deer and wolves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Tiger you wants to... to... Sorry, you should be able to open up the bear and claw and... Uh, yeah, claw right, Summer? <laughs> go inside of them like a tauntaun as well. <laughs> oh, <winter>. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Summer, did you be able to miss out on me micro-harvesting in the fire while I'm freezing, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> Goody, <laughs> loving hauling the bags of meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that hasn't killed me before. <laughs> oh, yeah, you oh, God. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> awesome. But yeah, I think that uh, what Lady Q said about the Trava, that I think that could be the answer to our question there. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Hopefully it comes in next update. Very excited. Oh, and it I could also be coming up somewhat soon. Yeah, a couple of weeks, hopefully. I mean, it's already been, what, eight to ten weeks, right, sweet? Yeah. It's been, been a little yeah. bit. Uh, what Mel was saying about, um, wait a minute, what were you just said before? Going about, into the bear or no, the, the uh, moose. No, the cabin uh, fixer-upper things. Oh, yeah, yeah. They did talk up, about safe, yeah, safe house, yeah. safe house, yeah, I, whatever. I think it, but I don't know what they mean by that. Yeah. That could be just something minor. Yeah, I don't know. it's very Sims, kind of, but I think kind of, I'm coming from that kind of gameplay that I like being able to build my own location up and like be able to move things around. It's like, I'd like to be able to sit on the sofa or like sleep on them. At like, least well, clean up the crap really that's good. in there. All the stuff yeah. that's scattered or break up the, yeah. fix the broken cabinets. There was a mod that, you know, I know the mod you talk about, Mel. Yeah. You could fix the cabinet doors Yeah. and they Pick actually the work after you fix them too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, sweet. Uh, you may go on with your set of questions if you don't mind. All right. Okay, so Mel, um, yeah. what is one of your favorite places to uh, base in Great Bear Island? 
Um, I have a little house in Coastal Highway. I really like. It's the blue house with the fireplace. It's across from the the garage. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. From Kwonset, and that's like my favorite location. I love the view there. I know we get wolves, but I, I like that area. And you're able to get like the uh, wolves to come up to you there as well, and you can easily kill them because they'll yes. come up to the house, and you can jump in the house just if you need to yep. escape. Well, I um, find they're always like right there on the lake too, not always on land. So exactly, I think like, yeah. you can see all of them. They mm -hmm. do sometimes chase you though. So yeah, yeah. And then I would say probably the camp office. I do spend a lot of time at the camp office. It is one of my favorite locations. Okay. Yeah, um, kind of in the middle of everything. Yeah, it's just kind of like uh, mystery lake in general. Um, I've gotten kind of used to that map, so I really like yeah. that one. The camp office awesome. needs a bathroom, though. It needs a toilet yes. in there. <laughs> a little yeah. house outside. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Um, and then kind of to piggyback off that, what is your favorite scenic location? It doesn't have to be a building, just anywhere yeah. on Great Bear Island. I think the top of Timberwolf Mountain. Um, yes. I've kind of come mm. to really like Timberwolf in general as a region over the last couple of months. Like, um, as soon as, like, we started doing um, a lot more tournaments, um, I've I've started really liking going there and like the last couple of tournaments, a uh, conky tournament. I actually started in Timberwolf because I was like, actually, that would make the most sense because then you can get the pelts quickly. So, um, I, I really enjoy kind of going there now and getting to the top of it. There's a real sense of achievement getting to the top, and the view is really beautiful. Yes, love that. That's that's my probably my favorite region out of all yeah. of them. So. Yeah, Very it's beautiful. becoming more and more my favorite as like I yeah. play more. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's kind of in the middle of a lot of places as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, what about you, Lady Q? What is your favorite place to base at? For some reason, I always find my way at Trappers. I love Trappers. Okay. Um, Trappers is a nice house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a lot of room to, well, it's not like Quonset where you can, you know, spread all your stuff out or whatever, but right. whatever. Um, I don't know. I just it's close enough to everything a little bit far away from some things but it, it works for me I, lo I love trappers i don't know why but i always find my way back to trappers it's got the best you've bed got, in the game you've got a lot of stuff in there you've got like ld just said you've got the nice bed you've got a two burner stove you've got uh, a workbench you've got a uh, a locker which mm -hmm. is good storage yeah. um you could possibly have a moose outside your door yeah, a bear. Or a bear. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a deer, lot. <laughs> deer and rabbits too. Yep. Deer and rabbits yep. too. Yeah, it is. So, I agree. Yeah. Trappers is really. It is a good place. Iconic place of the game. That's why it's in. That's why it was in the opening screen for the longest time. Remember mm -hmm. when you started the game? It was there. Yeah. yeah. Also, it's not a super big house, so if it's dark, you don't have to stumble your way that far yeah. to the bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. True. On that note. This is the moose clip outside of Trappers that I got on Loper Archery One. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's your one shot moose kill. I was watching that yeah, earlier yeah. this morning. Nice. That was really oh, awesome. awesome. It was a far shot, too. And for someone who's I was ecstatic. more more rifle person like you were, it was great to see you do it with a bow. It was awesome. I was ecstatic. I was like, oh, no, my God. <laughs> It was good. Yeah, I'm going to save that into another tab so I can watch that yeah, after. Yeah. That looks really cool. For sure. All right, and then what is your favorite scenic location? I have two. Um, sunrise at Signal Hill okay. and the view okay. of the lighthouse from the Riken, Jern, and Aurora. Oh, beautiful. Nice. This whole game is beautiful, but oh, those oh, two yeah. Oh. Wow. There's always going to be that one place, though, or two in your case, that you just can't stay away from, that you just, that's what pops into your head. So the view, yeah. the view of the lighthouse from the Reich and during and Aurora, I think is 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 would be the my go to if I could do it. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. All right, Doom, you're up. Where is your favorite place to base? Well, there's two. I really love Quonset and Coastal Highway. There's mm -hmm. everything you need there. There's your bench, the workbench, the, there's a fire, there's a lot of space. Cause I really like to lay my stuff on the ground yes. all around in Loper. That really helps me to know like how much stuff I get. Uh what do I need to 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 go collect at the time. But I'd say my it was my favorite before 
it, lately I've been more uh, uh, liking um, the the farm in uh, Mountain Town for base. I don't remember the name exactly. Because well, there's the huge stove, six burner stove. Oh yeah. There's the the outside okay. bench that ex that's mm. just real nice. With a fire barrel without too. Without having you don't to worry about fire. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, with the barrel just beside, so you don't have to worry about fat cabin fever when I'm crafting. Yeah, like I really like Mountain Town as a as a map because yeah. there's well, there's a village. There's a lot of loot possibilities. The only downside is, except for going in HRV, which is a great place to go, that I've learned rec like more more recently. There's you you have to climb up and uh, up and down in the map to go to transfer to a, another region so mm. that's the only downside yeah, yeah. i agree mm. i really don't like to do the, the climbing stuff mm. yeah. I, I, i'm a pack mule so i <laughs> yeah, have me too. too much stuff on me <laughs> i, I get that struggle for that. sure <laughs> yeah, no, no, like the, that carry lot. the struggle is real Oh, speaking yeah, of mechanics, um, speaking of the ropes and everything, I wish you could throw certain things down the ropes. Oh my god, yes. You should be able to do that. I mean, it's it it's not like it's impossible to do. You just chuck it. You could <laughs> glitch it. it. You could glitch it. There are it. some right, rope there, climbs. Yeah, you could do that too. That you, could you could attach get, right, the if rope. If you get and... close enough to the edge on some rope climbs, you can actually drop. When you see your footprints on the ground below, that Whoa. means you can. That means you can oh. drop stuff there. So if you walk up to the edge, very and you risky start though. To see, yeah, it's very risky, of course. <laughs> and not every rope climb. Not every rope climb does that either. But I have found some that if you see your footprint on the ground, you can drop stuff. Yeah. Use my Bella. Aw. Aw. Kitty. Yes, yeah, so I was trying to distract mine with traits, but then she dropped it. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Okay. Sorry, really quick. I just happened to look over at chat and something Packer said stood out to me. He said, I will say something bad about trappers. If it's an Aurora, for some reason it won't let you craft. Have have oh. any of you ever come across that before? Because um, I've never heard of that. I don't I, spend is a that... lot of time in trappers though, so I don't know. I okay. don't always craft a lot of trappers, to be honest. Check that that's out. Interesting. I'll have to yeah. try that sometime. Uh, it, that sounds like some sciencing, right? Sweet. Yeah, sure. We could definitely yeah. try that. Wendy's okay. right. Yeah. It's called Paradise Meadows. Yeah. Very good, Wendy. Farmhouse. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's called. Yep. Oh, Para said that she noticed that as well. I'll have to check that. Thank you for uh, oh. bringing that up, Packer. That's interesting. Oh, Loop. Okay. This. All right. So, if Loop noticed it too, then it's probably good to wow. go. I did never Maybe realize I've always that. Used I usually. Aurora to, uh, sorry. Usually I just sleep through auroras. I usually never bother with them, to be honest. But sometimes I use them to read if I don't like need yeah. to sleep a lot. Yeah. Like if I've yeah. already kind of if I haven't done enough the you know the previous day, or if I woke up early and there's an aurora. Uh, uh, like no electricity there. Yeah, that could be. Uh, Luke could be has right, a Luke. good uh, point because That's there's no point. electricity there. There is no electricity oh. there. It's, yeah, there's no oh. outlets so, or anything in that cap. There's no using which is very... light switch. Yeah, that's not very common. Most of the houses and everything have them, so yeah. I didn't realize that. Good point, that. Luke. Good point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, and Doom, what is your favorite scenic location? Uh, I'll go with the, the Watchtower and the Coastal Highway. I really like the view from there, seeing the sea, oh, the yeah. rising sun, and I, I'm not, I don't I'm not don't even remember if it's the, the the rising sun on the the sundown, but uh, there's something there. <laughs> I really like the view on the sea. That remembers yeah. me my 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 student years when I was in Gaspésie and and I was uh, well a coastal village and that's that's great. Yeah, just, I don't know why, the but sea. there's something about those watchtowers, even in the other parts of the world. Um, they're just they're really cool That's the concept summer. is cool so yeah all right thank you for that um all right so we're gonna circle back to mel uh what is your favorite and your least favorite sound effect in the game uh i would say the snow crunching is my favorite sound effect it's one of the things that kind yes. of yeah me the too game. I, really like that. I really like the noise of that because not having so much snow here and being like a snow person it, it's really nice to hear 
And then least favorite is the bear mauling noises Ooh. and how long it goes on for. Yeah. We get it. We're dying. It's fine. <laughs> right. We've seen it a million times, right? <laughs> exactly. I, I can't stand the noise. I usually mute it bubble, a lot bubble. of the time that I'm playing because I'm like, oh, this yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's not that I don't feel bad for Astrid when she's getting mauled, but for some reason, when Will screams, when he's getting mauled by that bear, it just really mm. bothers me. It's just, yeah. ugh. It's yeah. like, oh, uh, can you stop screaming? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think uh, I think he did really good uh, in that scene. Well, but, let's yeah. see if we he can get did. mauled yeah. by a bear and not scream. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, it hurts. <laughs> I bet yeah. it does. Yeah. yeah. So. Getting mauled by a bear and getting up and like, oh, maybe I need to patch myself up. Mm. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take I do. Hmm, I might be bleeding. <laughs> Yeah. All right. And what about you, Lady Q? What is your favorite and least favorite? Well, I have two favorites the snow crunching, of course, mm -hmm. and picking up coal. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've heard that oh. one before. That's a good one, too. Love it. Yeah. And I'm a sucker for coal. I'll pick it all up and I'll move, you know, two <laughs> miles an hour. I don't care. I'm taking all this coal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. On Voyager, it's very easy to accidentally accumulate over 30 to 40 pieces of coal. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't even realize how many you're getting until you're oh. not moving and you're like, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, least favorite. Least favorite sound in the game. Uh, without spoiling anything, the sound of the doe dying. What oh. is that? Oh, That's yeah. that I'm not a huge uh, fan of those no. sounds. <laughs> It's just the first, I can't, I'll re always remember the first time I heard that doe, not dying, but like just out in the world. I was yeah. like, is that a dying cat? <laughs> like, just thought it was the cougar for a second, probably. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> I was like, what I, I is still, that? <laughs> still haven't linked the sound of the doe with the, with the doe. I hear the sound every time and I'm like, what the fuck is that? What's going on? <laughs> What's close to me? Oh, it's just the doe. Okay. Oh, it's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah. summer in chat she, the worst sound is micro harvesting oh, i know I she's like, i know she's staring yeah, at us i know that. she's staring at me i know she is i know i know i got it <laughs> right, though, the worst is will's grunting oh i'm used yeah. to that because yeah. i i play will every time pretty much so i'm yeah. used to it. it i don't love it but you know it is what it is their voices off will only grunts when you oh. run him into the ground other than that he's fine right nah he grunts <laughs> astrid's better 100 percent. listen i think they guys. both have you know astrid is just uh -oh. astrid is very snarky and it, sometimes it yeah, yeah, she is. Whatever. Holy crap. She's like, why didn't that work? Mm. <laughs> oh, God. It makes me laugh every time. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, calm down, girl. <laughs> Relax. And she can't light a <laughs> fire like, either to save her ass. <laughs> she can too. No, I'm pretty we'll see. No, I, well, I like, personally, I switch both back and forth, but most of the time I stream Astrid because I think most of the majority of the people liked Astrid better. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I only stream Will when I know I'm gonna like be suffering a lot. Then then Will comes out. <laughs> and Lady Q just turns God, off you everything. You guys are hurting my heart right now. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna say, Lady Q? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I do turn their voices off, but for some reason I'm able to hunt rabbits easier with Astrid's thumb than yes. I am with Will. Okay. Yeah, yeah exactly. they, their hands are different, so I could mm. see that. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. All right, oh, I'm going to try to carry on. on. My heart's breaking, but I'm going to try to carry on the rest of the stream. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm a Will lover. You guys know that. So, <laughs> Chip. Chip. Um, all right, so Doom, what is your favorite or and least favorite sound effect? Well, I don't play Will, so he, he, his sounds doesn't bother me that much because <laughs> I don't, don't use yeah. him anymore. <laughs> yeah, favorite sound is... Most definitely, the uh, the sound of the soup and peaches and beans boiling mm. is so satisfying. I don't know yeah. why. Like the sound <laughs> of boiling and it's so kind of a thick liquid. I really like. It. <laughs> Every time it's like, oh yeah. 
<laughs> Otherwise, well, the sound that I really don't like, well, of course, the heartbeats because it stressed me out for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like at this point, I know, okay, I'm going to die for sure or almost. And I, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I need to think quick. And well, it's, this means I'm going to make some stupid decision for sure. But uh, the aura <laughs> Ross stressed me still for sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I like to see it. I'm like, that, that's really sad that going outside gotcha. watching the aura run means I'm putting myself in danger. But it's so beautiful. Yeah. And there are some okay. safe places that you can look at an aurora. But yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, most times we're not in those places, are we? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, all right. So this... What's that? He says, if I wanted to hear a woman whine, I'd take off my headset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Chip is a mighty um, witty one. <laughs> yes, he is. Yep. Okay. So, Mel, we're going to circle back to you. Um, do you play on PC or console? Uh, PC. PC. Okay. So, without spoiling too much for those that maybe have not um, mm -hmm. played it yet, um, as a general idea, what do you like most about the new update? Is it like the maps or some of the new things they added? I like parts of the maps. I feel like there's a lot of walking. Um, but I really like there's a little um, train station that I really like. And it does remind me of England, actually. Um, it reminds me of like the little tiny ones we have some in some English towns. So I really like that. Um, and I think everybody's seen from the trailer, the airfield's pretty cool. I, I like um, the helicopters. They look neat. Okay. Yeah, I haven't quite been to the new map yet, um, but I am, uh, I'm ready in the save that I made for it. So I'm excited to go see those things too. Yeah, there's some, um, I will say without spoiling too much, there are some hidden things on the helicopters, some extra kind of things to find on them. So if you click on all parts of them. Oh, that's so exciting. I love that. I love when they hide things like yeah. that and you have to go find. Yeah, I love it. I love that new feature that they added for that. So awesome. Uh, what about you, ADQ? PC or console? Well, I stream on console until I get the update, uh, but I do have it also on PC. Okay. Um, so have you, have you played that new update on your PC? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, same question for you. What What's your favorite part about it? <clears throat> the whole global refresh of loot. I don't know where anything okay. is. It's yep. so much more exciting now. Mm. I need this. I could go days without having a hatchet because it's not where it's supposed to be. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of. It kind of forces you to look in those places that yeah. you don't normally, that you just bypass yeah. because you're like, oh, there's nothing ever there, but now it could be there. And so, I like that. It takes a lot of getting used to to to, to mm -hmm. remember to look elsewhere mm -hmm. because yep. you're just so used to going here, getting that, doing this, and it's like, oh no, I can't do that. So yeah, it's like a brand new <laughs> game I almost. It's like a brand new game. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the console players are up for a real treat. That's all I gotta I say. I think yeah. so. Yeah. 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 Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait till everybody's on board with it and we can stop, you know, tiptoeing around and everything, you know, because I, I love that, you know, that's what this is all about. The community, we talk about it, we go through things together. And I, you know, I, I hate that there's that other side of the community that, that isn't able to get that yet. So exactly. I'm, I'm very excited for when they do drop that. So. Yeah. All too. right. Um, so, Doom, are, are you on PC or console? Yes, I'm on PC and PC, all I've right. tried the, the new update. Uh, so far, I, I really love the change. Uh, what I really like is the fact that I found I found gear, found stuff in places where there there was no. Uh, they added like spawn location. Uh, I don't want to spoil. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Sorry. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, sometimes like. There was an item under under a, a, a bench, a table, and let's say I, I, where I, I went like twenty times before, and I'm like, there was never anything there. So that's a new yeah. a new point to look. So I I I yeah, like like, like lady said, you don't go in. Okay, there's nothing there, but at a micro level, I don't go in a building. Like I know there's an item at this place, at this place, and at this place, and I don't look anywhere else. Now I kind of need to 
to watch around the, the full building makes makes it more, much more sense absolutely yeah, yeah they're just the randomness i yeah, you know exactly. it, it was being it was becoming too predictable yeah. and you know th the randomness of it is more accurate to real life like exactly you know you would leave something random in this random spot you know it it was to becoming too like i said too predictable so i yeah. i do like that feature a lot I and that's what i for us first. players that um don't know the maps and loot tables exactly as well because then we use we're used to looking for stuff because we don't know there's necessarily going to be some exactly. thing there yeah. so it's kind of better for new players as well coming into it mm. that they're like oh well yeah there might be stuff here and there might not they don't feel as pressured to look at loot tables then yeah, I never, I, I never really bothered with loot tables. No, I, just, I never do I, either. Yeah, I like the fact that you have to look everywhere. Right. Um, it just it adds that little extra thing to the game. So and I agree. After a while, you learn it anyway, just naturally, right? Just by yeah. you know. Yeah, and I hope that they can they use this excitement about changing the loot. I hope they use that moving forward and occasionally do refresh that more yeah. often rather yeah, than they, waiting they many years to do so. Yeah. You should be good to do that like once every, a year. Yeah, exactly yeah once absolutely. A year. Yeah. I like that. So I, I think that I think that will keep people uh interested in the game because there were a lot of people I did notice um before the update that were kind of getting burnt out. They knew where mm -hmm. everything was, it wasn't as much of a challenge. So I think that'll keep people playing um more often mm. so yeah 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 i agree i agree all right ld you are up next okay what you got okay uh so again we'll circle around to mel we repeat that it's fine we, we, <laughs> that's why everybody knows who i'm addressing and we are addressing yeah uh have you ever played a custom and i i know you do mel but I know so I do. <laughs> yeah have you ever played a custom game or challenge and what what was it if yes um i i think i've taken part in every tournament at mm. this point um even <laughs> if i haven't finished them i didn't finish last uh, ld1 unfortunately cuz my computer backed up I've got a new Gosh. one now um but uh i would say like the ones that i enjoyed the most first of all dead world was amazing and i played that off off the tournament as well mm. that's always yes. fun i like they're not being the animals i don't know what it is it just makes it kind of nicer to walk around on the harder difficulties um, without like worrying about the animals and i do feel like i like interloper better like that um but yeah that was quite cool and um i really enjoyed um the base building tournament was probably my favorite one that we did and, and that was a really good challenge because i didn't hunt with the bow before that and that was me learning how to use the bow and learning how to hunt um and because i played on pilgrim a lot i actually kind of knew where there was lots of loot and stuff already but it was completely different trying to do it really quickly mm. yes and yeah. and trying to build the base the b building the base was like one of the best things we've done i think i really enjoyed that i loved making my little bunny cafe it was <laughs> awesome everybody did a bang up job and mel your yeah. yours was so creative it was awesome yeah i love tea and me at the at the um camp office mm. I loved yeah i i oh, loved oh. seeing what everybody came up with mm. it was really cool <laughs> Okay, Lady Q, um, same question to you. Uh, the custom uh, game or the challenge? Question. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, that's all right. If uh, you need me to repeat the question, I, yeah. I have no problem doing that. No worries. Um, mm. Yes, I played uh, custom stalker with Loper Weather. I love that. It just, it seems to, to be a natural thing. Um, the weather and, and the loot that you get, the clothing that you get on stalker, and um and then and then the added extra nasty weather mm -hmm. it's pretty awesome it gives you a great challenge because yep. the uh, as everybody knows this is a pve game right so it's it's mm -hmm. really your challenge against the environment so <clears throat> if you like the stalker kind of mode you can certainly you know jack it up with the environment to give you that yep. that extra challenge that you need yeah and want to have it's so much fun it's awesome mm -hmm. okay doom uh same question to you um i've done pretty much all the challenges inside the game except uh, as the dead sleep i haven't 
been able to finish it yet in Night Soccer. Night Soccer doesn't really impress me as mm. for uh, whatever it is. I'd say my favorite were Whiteout and uh, uh, Hopeless Rescue, pretty much. Other than that, I really like to do, like I said, just tweak some little things in custom looper and just like I really li- liked uh, Endless uh, Endless Night. Mm-hmm. Really made the world really different bring it bring like some challenges that i didn't expect before i started i was like okay i need to go loot in a building that's safe but i need light yeah so that, <laughs> I, I anything i want to craft that's going to be complicated because i need to have a fire up running around me like 24 7 during the crafting like so it bring it bring yeah really a lot of new challenges uh, a lot of little things just that I didn't expect or anticipated before I did this. If I can add something, um, I sure. have played The Hunted in part one and two, and I am excited for the part three that's coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Oh, yeah, there yeah. is a part three team. coming. A conclusion. Yeah, supposed to be coming, yeah. Conclusion to the cliffhanger, right? <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, I'm going to say that my one of my fa- two of my favorites are, of course, Hopeless Rescue. I know that Mel loves Hopeless <laughs> yeah, Rescue. Yeah, I love Hopeless Rescue. And well, I love yeah. to speed run that. And, and, and I do like As a Dead Sleep because, and I recommend everybody try it at least because it gets you familiar with no condition <laughs> regen. Yeah. And I think mm-hmm. everybody should at least mm-hmm. experience that a little bit. It'll it certainly improve your gameplay and no matter what mode you do, if you just try it for a little bit and even if you don't succeed at it it doesn't matter <clears throat> just try to get a taste of it and see what it's like which is why i wanted to do it in my last tournament with the no regen thing i want to get i want to get people more not counting on that regen so don't count on it you just need to be able to not lose your condition work on not losing it then you don't have to worry about regaining it right that's kind of was my point yeah. with the challenge yeah that's something i need to to work on personally i know and mm-hmm. And one of the tricks can I can offer is is to start your fire before you actually start getting cold. Don't wait for your cold meter to get red yeah. and then start the fire because the minute you do that, you can easily lose three to four percent condition yeah. just waiting for that to happen. Yeah, so, I noticed that in the last tournament. It was like crazy how much you lost. So it's quickly. crazy, yeah. So mm-hmm. I recommend like when it's three quarters, go ahead and start your fire then. Even though I don't always follow my rules, but <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm do as I say, not as I do kind of guy, I guess, but <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. So moving on to the next question, uh, Mel, share some of your biggest achievements and biggest failures in the game. Oh, well, I've, I've done a couple of the tournaments now and my biggest achievement was coming. Um, I feel like coming second in the hesitant prospect tournament and we had to race around and do the uh, hopeless rescue bit in the end. Um, oh, I really yeah, enjoyed I that, that one. That was really good. And that was like one of the first tournaments as well. And that was why I was still quite new to the game. So I really enjoyed doing that one. Um, and then Neighborly Native was also a really good tournament for me. I, I came first in my division. Nice. And I didn't think I was going to finish that. I really didn't think I was going to finish because I found it really difficult to start with, um, but was able to kind of push through it in the end and kind of get it all done but i found that so difficult because i'm so used to kind of depending on killing the animals around me and and i'm not very good with the whole rock fire trick thing i i it took me a long time to learn that and get it kind of down but i really kind of struggled to run around without um like a weapon on me so that was quite cool to not have to use weapons for a while Awesome, awesome. Um, Doom. Uh, oh, actually, we'll go to Lady Q. Sorry, I missed you. Uh, share some you know, of your biggest achievements and failures in the long term. You know what? Go ahead with Doom because I need to step away for one second. Oh, yeah. Okay. No problem. Absolutely. Go ahead, Doom. Uh, you may go ahead. Uh, well, biggest achievement, I think. I'm really, really proud I've been able to almost do 100 days in Loper. I died in 96, but yeah. Oh. Uh, I, I was kind of cocky and careless. I could have like stayed home until day 100. I had the I had the food and everything, so I know I could have been... Uh, I know I could have beat it, but well, too bad, so sad. 
Uh, biggest failure? I don't. I don't know. Uh, well, I have so many failures. That's not, that's all about the, this game is all about failure and learning. About that's it. true. Yes, you learn absolutely. by failures. Yeah, that's for sure. Even I do. Even now. <laughs> Maybe awesome. I'd say I need. I need to learn to to shoot the bow. Yeah, we <laughs> I mean, all do. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shooting the bow is just all about practicing and yeah. learning learning the distance and the arc. Once you get that down, you're good, you know. It's just just gotta practice it. Go out to the target at Pleasant Valley and go to different distances. Yeah. Like go really far out and practice hitting that target. That's really how you gotta do yeah. it. Good point. That's why it's there. I think they, they put it there for a reason. Yeah, yeah, they probably did. And sweet, I'm gonna ask you too that question. Uh I I, I, I really like your story on on uh, and your gameplay, and if you could share some, share you. one of your achievements and failures in the game, that would be awesome. Um, well, one of my biggest achievements is definitely uh, the tournament run. Um, I really went well. into it. Thank you. Um, I went into it expecting to, you know, have hiccups and 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 deaths and everything, and I really surprised myself uh, with what I could do. Um, I was very very proud of it. I worked so hard. I gave it my all. I put so many hours into it. And um, I do tend to get bored um, with my runs, um, usually approaching day 100, because, you know, it's the same old stuff. You're all set up and everything. But this one kept you going. It kept you on your toes. And you had, a, like, a, a goal. And I kept going with it until the end. And uh, I was very proud of that. So um, that would probably have to be my biggest achievement. Nice. Um, again, wonderful challenge. It was probably one of my absolute favorites. Thank you. Um, uh, biggest failure. Um, I would have to say not with a particular run, but just maybe not pushing myself hard enough sometimes. Um, you know, like, like you said, the failures are going to let you learn. And I think I need to push myself a bit more. So I'm going to have to start doing that moving forward. Yeah. Because what's the worst that can happen? You die and you right. start again. Yep. <laughs> it's yep. just a game. It's true. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. I know. Yeah. I, I totally get you though. I even like I like I said, I have my most of my hours are stalker. When I was moving into Loper, I had the same feeling you guys did. I'm like, Oh my god, I'm you know, I, I don't know if I don't feel like I'm ready. But I just one night I just said, All right, I'm gonna just go for it and I died and I died and I died and I died. And it's every day it just got better. You'll get yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, Lady Q, uh, welcome back. Um, hope everything is okay. And uh, 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 I can repeat the question. Uh, share some of your biggest achievements and biggest failures in the long dark. I'm going to start with the failures first. Failure not to know all the maps. I should know all the maps, and I don't. I don't go to Bleak. I don't go to Black Rock. I don't go to HRV. I should know those regions. And maybe I'll work on getting to know those regions. I just don't like them. So yeah, um, we're in Ash Canyon. Mm -hmm. uh, achievements. Well, my one shot moose kill tops my list. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was really good. That was awesome. But but that particular run though, um, I also killed a deer, one shot a deer, and I one shot a wolf. Excellent. On on the Loper run, so that's that was pretty cool. And then later on, I died running from a wolf, on a, from a, jumping from a rock that, that was too high, and I died. <laughs> <laughs> We've all done it. Yeah. I've done that. I've tried to depath the wolf and, like, are you and fall right <laughs> off the cliff. I've done that yeah. before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It happens. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, Doom? Uh, did I get you, Doom? Do, yeah, I got you, Doom. That's right. Yep. Okay, we're going to move on to Sweet is next. We got two more two more blocks of, of questions, and we can start wrapping it up. Go ahead, Sweet, whenever you're ready. All right. Okay, Mel. Um, this is one of my favorite questions, I think. Um, kind of just a fun little scenario. Um, if you could take anyone on a TLD adventure, who would it be? Um, it could be anywhere. It, it could be anyone in your real life, uh, someone on Twitch, a, a favorite um, book character, film character, anyone. Uh, I kind of missed this question while I was preparing earlier, so now I don't have an answer. Um, 
Hmm. Would it be wrong to say I'd bring LD? Because I think he'd be for fun. Oh, you can bring anyone you want to. <laughs> no, oh, fine. thank you. Um, and it doesn't awesome. have to be like a super like scientific answer, like oh, I'd bring MacGyver or whatever, you know, just yeah. somebody that you would personally love to go on this adventure with. Well, I think David Duchovny would be nice to look at while I was on the adventure, so probably him. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm sure he. I'm sure he'd be very helpful in a adventure situation. Just, just yeah, he he'd be a helpful friend. I'm sure. I, I'm a huge X Files fan, so I'd love to have him along with me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love X Files too. <laughs> All right, Lady Q, who would you bring? Well, Mel can't bring LD because I want to bring LD. Oh <laughs> God. <laughs> I have to have some kind of a splitter. Because yeah. I'm not going to ask him in real life crossing those bridges. Oh my exactly. God. Well, I guess if you guys had to go to Great Bear Island, you should probably all three just go together then. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to want to bring LD. <laughs> Just don't oh count gosh. on me for water because I never have water on me. I know. Oh, God. <laughs> Make sure you I'll bring water. He <laughs> needs help starting the fires too. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, Doom. Who are you bringing to Great Bear Island? Uh, I think I bring. Uh, I would bring uh, Tom Brown Jr. This guy is a, a tracker survivalist. Uh, he has a school Ooh. in. New, he has a school in uh, New Jersey, in USA. Mm -hmm. uh, he learned primitive survival from Native Americans, so for him, I'm pretty sure Great Bear Highland would be a walk in the park. Oh, uh, I've been I've been to his school like uh, maybe ten years ago or more, uh, or more than ten at this point, <laughs> for a, a, a class for a week uh, with one of my friends, and we learned so much from 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 him and his team. So yeah, wow. very cool. All right, I, I'm, doing, I'm doing. <laughs> practical right now <laughs> right that's totally fine you can I realize you can now be... that i should have brought my um my dad's suite because he's a very much outdoorsman and he would be <laughs> fine in the <this> situation <laughs> he can fish she can he would be fine it's like well why wouldn't i bring him he'd be okay <laughs> <laughs> all right who are you bringing ld um kimi yoda <laughs> Oh well, that's yeah. another smart See, one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I would probably, I, I, yeah. In reality, I'd probably pick Kimiota, or you know, definitely another survivalist. And I would probably pick. Oh, it's so hard. I would probably pick either one of uh, all of you because and it would be hard to pick because I would need somebody that you know I can get along with and we can communicate and stuff. It doesn't necessarily have to be about knowledge. It's really about being Trust is companionship, a big one. right? Exactly. Yep. And and being, you know, where you take care of each other. You know, watch out for yeah. each other and that's kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But someone as, that knows the maps would be good. Yeah, as far as experience, <laughs> yep. definitely Kimiota. <laughs> yeah. And you know, like Bear Grylls or, you know, or Les Les Stroud or some survivalist would be a good choice. That's what I would bring. Ooh. Yeah. So there begs Somebody the question. Somebody with a boat. Somebody with a boat. Or an ATV. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, so there begs the question, do you want to have somebody with you and worry about their well-being as well as your well-being? I want someone to carry me along the way so I don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I would definitely opt for a partner. Yeah. No, I don't want to drink my own pee. Gross. <laughs> I would not want to be alone there. I'll be honest. Like I don't, I don't care if I have to look after them. Just don't let me be alone there. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't bring Summer because Summer will kill me in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, Summer. You know that. Summer. Yeah. <laughs> I like the kid in Summer about that. This you mentioned that before, but it's too funny. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you all know who I'd bring, so I don't think I need to say it, but <laughs> Yeah, I know who you'd bring. <laughs> Mr. Will McKenzie. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but anyway. Uh so my next question for you, Mel, is um what are you looking forward to in the future updates and what kind of features we're getting? The if you kitty. if you know. The big kitty. The kitty, so I yep. Want, <laughs> I want the cougars. I've wanted cats in the game for a long time because I, I like that I like the wolves, but I wanted a cat in the game as well. Um, but 
probably like aging myself, but like my my high school's um, mascot was the bobcat, so I kind of assumed we might get like a bobcat or something okay. eventually. So I was kind of hoping we get something like, like that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, just for the memes, really, about having a cat in the game, like um, like Lady Key was saying about the boxes and stuff. That'll be fun. And then um, also like changing um, the animal behaviors where they where they where they are and everything. I said earlier about yeah. like, new players. It, it's everybody kind of I feel like in the community knows where everything else is. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's it's nice to have that kind of brand new game feeling of I have no idea where a bear might turn up. Oh yeah, look, there's one. <laughs> And I want to interject one second before I forget my thought. It's funny when I hear people mention cougars. It was like, oh, I want the cougars. Now, you're not the only one, Mel. I've heard so many people want the cougars. But do you everybody realize these are going to be things that are going to want to rip our faces off? (laughs) Yes. I also did think about that. It's going to be exciting but very scary because, you know, they're probably going to be very, very stealthy. Not Mm -hmm. on Pilgrim, You think ninja wolves are a thing? Not Pilgrim, Mel. (laughs) Mel's covered there. On Pilgrim, you can have fun with them. Um, that's true that's right true. <laughs> particularly we're looking forward to the first time i got killed by one exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh my god it's a novelty factor of it really it's like oh wow it's a cat and it's like oh wow it's oh, killing wow, I'm me dead. <laughs> i do have a question we, we, so all of the animals we have resources for and, and we have a use for what are we going to use the cougars for that's a good question. A new clothing claws. item, maybe. Hopefully, like yeah, claws. hopefully new clothing for sure. <laughs> Little mm. knives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah, I definitely, I'm I'm very excited for that as Uber well. underwear. Puma pants. <laughs> yeah, very kind of Tarzan-like. <laughs> I will say, though, um, you're you bringing up uh the fact that the wildlife is going to be um a lot less predictable i'm kind of glad that they didn't introduce that at the same time as the yes. loot refresh um i think that would have been a little bit too much um to start exactly. out with it would have been too disorienting um as, as much as people want that i i think for a lot of us i think it would have been too much so i'm glad that they're spacing it out out and slowly introducing it yeah, and that's gonna oh. refresh the game a little bit earlier instead of having all new now and like in three months we all yes. know what's uh, different yeah. now but we're gonna yeah, have there, there is... to relearn again yeah yeah I agree. we'll have a completely brand new game by next year it's gonna be weird that heck yeah yeah so so much is gonna have changed by then and we're gonna have all this new resources and stuff and it's gonna be a completely different game by yeah january next year Hey, Coke, oh, thank you for coming up. in with the resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Capogen going, Capogen going. <laughs> All right, Lady Q, what are you looking forward to getting the most? I think cooking. The, the, the new cooking. The new recipes. We're going to make, make soups, like real soups, like, yes. the, like yes. the soup that grandmother gave you. <laughs> <laughs> magic soup um, yeah exactly um yeah I, I i'm looking forward to to finding out what this burdock root is all about um what was the other thing we're supposed to be cooking the uh, acorns? acorns acorn yeah acorn yeah. flour maybe yeah, oh yeah and it's going to be flour because well, it hoping, makes sense and then, yeah and then maybe baking that would be sweet yeah yeah, yeah absolutely Totally. All right, Ooh. Doom, what are you looking forward to? I'm not looking forward to the cougar for myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Feline are <laughs> nasty hunters. No. I mean, wolves are great yeah, hunters but... because they work in packs. They work, they overwhelmed by number. Cougar Cats are, 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 cougar are nasty. <laughs> they, they're sneaky. They're going to jump. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to see... Well, well, to not see a cougar on the ledge somewhere and jump just mm-hmm. jump over me not making a sound before it hits me that that's <laughs> how that's how they on so that's what i expect so i don't really want to see them <laughs> not yet get you from a tree limb uh they're probably going to be hiding in the new oak trees that are out there and they're going to yeah. be pouncing oh, us yeah. from above I, or, or yeah. even on the in the mountain the new mountain region that's coming i can see that's where they're going to appear because it makes sense 
and they're going to be in the mountains. They're going to jump down on us, probably, right in front of us. Can you imagine? Right there, like, ah! <laughs> they also, so they said global wildlife and loot refresh. I mm. wonder if they're going to introduce Timberwolves in any other regions. Yeah, oh, or gosh. Cougars oh, in goodness. all the regions. Who knows? Probably, Probably Timberwolves, well, and I hate People that have been kind of, like, suspecting oh, wow. that, um, oh, my gosh. because you can find marine That's flares scary. a lot more often. Um, and in different places that you've never seen them before. So that's what I'm kind of wondering as well. Uh, can you give me a second? I want to announce yep. uh, the, the big gift crazy. bomb came in the chat <laughs> here. Really? Barry, thank you so much for that gift bomb. Oh, my God. I need to name the peoples off. Give me a second. Uh, <laughs> a gift sub to Minx277, Joe Toy, Ms. Red, Fangirl Mel, Vi yeah. Violacious, Quirin Thistle, The Winquisition, Failed Alloy, Blade, CJ, and Finn. Thank you so much, Barry, for that wonderful, generous gift sub bomb. Thank you so much. You know, Thank you. Woo, woo, woo. Thankies. Woo, woo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Teeny Bug, for the cheers. Thank you. More. Like subsistence oh, cougars grab you by the throat, right, Summer? Yeah, that's what I'm loop. thinking. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Hey, Finn, how you doing? Good to see you. Thank you, Coke, for the biddies. Wendy wants to get eaten by a cougar. <laughs> she wants to get eaten. We all okay. want to get eaten by a cougar. But we thought. It's going to happen, for sure. Hi, Finn, good to Hi, see you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Lady Q. Thank you, Coke. <laughs> Thank you, Loop. You guys are all too generous. We got a level four hype train working, guys. Ooh. And we're talking. <laughs> thank you so much. Sweet. Thank you for the gifts up to Wendy. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so Welcome. much. Appreciate it. Sub love. Sub love. Okay. All right. We can continue if you like. All right. Uh, where were we? <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, oh, it's actually your turn, LD. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes. All right, great. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up with a last question, and then I'm going to make a couple announcements, and I'm going to let you guys give a chance to uh, address everyone to say goodbye. And give, if you have anything important coming up that you want to announce, mm -hmm. now's the time to plug it. Well, not yet, but when I've done. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All we're right, actually so we're on a good schedule right we now. We are, right? It's only I noticed 11 that too. Yeah, we have plenty too. of time to, to um, say what we want to say. And, Excellent. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, let's move on to the last and final question to Fangormel. Tell us about some other games you enjoy, and can you present recommendations and personal ratings? I have a lot of games I play other than The Long Dark. I do kind of do variety stuff. Uh, the one I play the most is Dead by Daylight. I think I've tried to get most of the community into playing Dead by Daylight with me. Um, you want to play? Come join. I, I, I will teach you how to play. Very happy to do that. It's um like a horror game of like um tag really. Mm. You're you're trying to escape from various uh horror movie killers. It's quite fun though, and it, it there's a lot of like memeing and silliness in it, and I, I enjoy it a lot. Um, one that a lot of people haven't played um is Rain on Your Parade, which, which is a super silly game where you play a cloud. Um and um. It sounds so weird when you say that, but um, you go around kind of doing different activities, like um, you have like thunder and tornadoes, and you interact with different things. It's really a fun game, though, and um, it's made by a small developer, and I really like it. Um, and for survival games, I would really recommend This War of Mine, uh, probably one of the best survival games ever. Um, I know lots of people were a bit anxious about the trader coming into the long dark with the trailer and everything for the um, kind of the new area. But um, this war of mine has a trader as well. And it's really works in the game. You only see him like every once in a while. And it's a really good survival game. It's even been used for like, um, like teaching. And I think Poland, I think they use it in the actual like curriculum for students now and it teaches people about like war zones and they also give a lot of money to charity it's an older game but i i think it's really worth um playing it's one of those games that kind of got me into survival stuff over the years and yeah i would rate all those quite highly really i, th I think they're all kind of worth checking out um and i'm currently playing a lot of um marvel snap which is a card game so if you come on my channel you'll see me playing that and that's a fairly new game it only came out in october um it's just like a 
kind of like Hearthstone, really. Um, and like all your cards have different abilities and you're just trying to get the highest total. But I'm really enjoying that as well. And it's the first kind of card game I've ever played. So that's a bunch of different stuff I really like at the moment. So thanks. Cool. Yeah, I'll have to check those out. Thank you, Mel. Those, those are those are great, great recommendations. I appreciate it. Lady Q, uh, Q, I know you don't stream that many different games, but I think you play a couple of different games. You mentioned something you play with your with your husband once in a while and a couple of your friends. Uh, if you want to talk about that one, too. Yeah, uh, usually on Sundays, hubby and I will play maybe Fishing Planet, sit around having some beers, playing Fishing Planet. It's not very exciting, but whatever. It works. And, uh, if you remember the old Farmville on Facebook, oh, there's a God, game yes. Farm Together. <laughs> and it's really, uh, it's like that, but way better. And it's addicting. And oh my God, my my farm level is, I think, 148 now. And it's just awesome. <laughs> nice. And and I'd highly recommend Farm Farm Together. You can play with other people. People can come into your farm. You can go to other people's farms. Um, but um, at the end of the day, TLD is life out here. And that's my game. And ain't gonna stray. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you, Lady Q. Doom. Well, um, I do, I do play a lot of different type of games. I mostly stream about uh, survival games, and that that's how I started on YouTube. But uh, so for survival game, my personal suggestion would be subsistence. It's it's a it's a survival crafting. It's it's pretty much grindy, but it's really nice. There's no, uh, I don't know. I don't know why. I I can't say how much I like it. Uh, I've spent so much time on it. Uh, recently, I uh, I replayed. I restarted playing also Valheim. Mm, uh, I love Valheim. Kind of, it's yeah, been a long time. Nice. If you like uh, a little bit of. Um, uh, the, the history of Vikings and the 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 mis, uh, the, mytho, the mythology mm -hmm. uh, the lore about the, the gods and stuff it's kind of interesting there's a little a little bit like the, a, a little bit in it um yeah otherwise well I play so many different types of games I'm a big GRPG fan so so some of you know that uh, and recently I've been playing. Outer Wilds, which well, ah, uh, I know of that God, game. God damn, God mm. damn, uh, you need to, you need to, that, that. That's one of those games like that. I think everybody can need. Everybody needs to to play those kind of games. And subsistence too, right? Yeah, subsistence. This one also in one of your favorites too. And they say yeah. you're playing that quite a bit. Yeah, I do. Awesome, awesome. I do mostly, mostly. Uh, uh, I do. I, I stream it a little bit less than the Long Dark. Mostly, I do it on YouTube. That's that's how I started, after all. And uh, well, I do play in co-op, like one Friday, and uh, one of two. Well, I don't know how to say it, but one Friday I'm gonna play Subsistence. The other Friday I'm gonna play another game. Great. Uh, so, yeah. Great. Well, thank you, Doom. Now I know that. People are probably waiting for Sweet's answer. I'm going to ask you that question, Sweet. You, you go ahead and answer it to your heart's content. Um, I've been playing a, a couple new games recently, um, uh, and one that you guys all know of for sure, uh, Call of the Wild. Um, I don't know why I waited so long to play it, but it is such a relaxing game. Um, it's very difficult at first um, when you're first starting. You don't have a lot of gear um, mm. that helps you and everything spooks. But once you kind of get used to it, you get some some kills in, um, you know, it, it's a lot easier. I'm having a lot of fun. It's it's so much fun to party up with people. I definitely recommend if you play Call of the Wild, try to find a group of friends to play with because it's it's so easy to just play and talk and it just makes the time go by and it's so much fun to hang out. Um, it's a great experience. Definitely. Um, I have also been playing uh, the Spyro series. Um, it's a series that is very near and dear to my heart. I played it when I was a kid and, um, you know, my dad played it and he introduced me to it. Um, and they did a, like a remake of it and the graphics are just beautiful and, it's a lot of fun. It's a great game to play. So if you're ever looking to just goof around with a dragon, <laughs> then that's your game. Um, 
and then another game that I've been playing is called Witchwood. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know if a lot of people have heard of that, heard but of it, it is it's so unique. It, it's a uh, like a, a story driven um, crafting puzzle game. Um, so you basically have to go around the world and, you know, there's a story of goals that you have to complete and, you know, it takes you all around the maps and you have to craft things um, to move on to the next part. And it's it's just a lot of fun. The graphics are great. Um, and uh, it, it's not that expensive. It's really it's really fun. Um, so I've been having fun with that. So uh, those are primarily the ones I've been playing. Awesome. What's that? you play as long as you're having fun that's mm -hmm. what that yeah. is. oh yeah oh sure yep. yeah absolutely uh i'll answer thing I'd like to... go ahead if i if i could just add um to any new players out there don't get discouraged go on a lower level level if you need to but enjoy the game and if you don't enjoy the game then you're not going to play the game so mm, right exactly but have fun that's what matters that's sure you buy the games to have fun and if you're not having yeah. fun then you need to either change how you play the game or yeah. maybe the game's not for you kind of thing yeah yeah exactly um i feel that way about some games that i see play uh, people play i love to watch it but it's not a game i would want to play because it just doesn't no. it doesn't fit my kind of play style yeah. what i like to do uh i'll yeah. give a couple of games that i've been playing recently uh i've been getting into planet crafter recently which is a phenomenal game they want to talk about you want to talk about relaxing and kind of um, there is a survival element. Of course, it's nowhere is nothing like the long dark, but it gives you a really nice sense of you're you're basically you're a prisoner and they put you on this planet and you're in charge of terraforming it and make it livable for humans. And the planet's hostile. So you got it's if you like crafting and base building, this is the, the game for you. Totally. I mean, it's so relaxing and I've really been liking it a lot. I also like playing Farming Simulator 22, which is I'm actually designing my own maps for right now. I, I've downloaded the editor and I've been making maps for it, and it's really awesome. And uh, one other game I could recommend is Stranded Deep. I've been playing Stranded Deep as well recently, too. I went back to it. Um, so those are kind of three games I've been kind of playing off on the side recently. I have stranded deep and I've tried it. I just can't get into it. I don't know. I don't like yeah. Maybe yeah, me too. But it, it was so much fun yeah. for like the first, I don't know how long I played it, but it was, I think I played it over a span of like two or three weeks mm -hmm. and it was a lot of fun. I played it constantly, but then like, once you get everything, I just, I couldn't stay with it. Right. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So now they I, add, I wish they had added a little bit more to they, it. Well, now they actually have an end game to it. You can actually get rescued. Oh, yeah. You have to work your way okay. to that goal. Uh, that yeah. was one of the things that some of the players were complaining about to the to the developers. So the developers finally came up with an end game. Um, okay. So it's really okay. cool. Yeah, you have to gather parts and you know fix things, and then you can leave the the place and so they did add that but i i totally understand what you mean about stranded deep it's just something that you feel like grinding once in a while i don't play yeah. it often but i'll go back to it once in a while yeah i just I like the, i like um... the island the island kind of metaphor kind of games like yeah i kind of like that i found that one really difficult ld when i tried it. i just couldn't get into it at all um, yeah i will say the new oregon trail is actually really good um mm -hmm. there's a lot of different kind of like off pass to it and you can kind of build up over time i was surprised how good it is compared um, like to the previous games um there's like a daily challenge and everything and it, there's a lot more kind of um involved with the survival of it than like the previous like old-fashioned games and it was like one of the first games i ever played as a kid so like it has a special place in my heart but it's it's been very good actually i've really enjoyed playing that lately hmm. and i might add to the call of the wild is a game that i had a long time it was played a long time ago yeah. and i you know before it was funny because before i tried to get people into it and they weren't really into it and now all of a sudden everybody's into it and <laughs> it's really kind of and i got of got out of it and you know i'm kind of inching my way back into getting it again now that everybody's um excited to play it so it's good i'm, I'm good to hear that's an awesome hunting game if you're into that kind of a thing and it's very realistic in a lot of ways of course it's arcade-ish but it's also quite realistic in some things too. 
All right. So we're going to start wrapping this up, and uh, I'm going to go and turn, and I'm going to let people uh, say a farewell message to everyone. And if you have anything to plug, anything coming up in the future, something exciting happening, um, feel free to plug all you like, and feel free to let people know about it. So we'll start with you, Mel, first. Go ahead. Okay. You have first anything. of all, buy my book. Buy my book. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, I thought I'd just just do that. Um, it's called Becoming Death by Melissa Brown. I need to work on other books. But um, along with that, I, I really like reading and writing. I used to work in a library and was an English teacher um, before my kind of current job I'm in. But um, I, I started doing a reading pot, uh, reading a stream on Fridays. So um, we're going to be reading the newest uh, Hunger Games book, the prequel, a ballad of um, songbirds and snakes Ooh. over the next month and discussing it. So I'd really like it if people showed up for that. Um, you can read anything you want. It's just kind of a chill kind of like two hours where we sit and we read books together. So it's kind of just kind of having a fun thing, trying to do something new with the stream. Um, of course, I stream Long Dark pretty much every Wednesday unless I play something else. But usually it's Long Dark on Wednesdays and then Fridays I'm doing the reading stream and then Marvel Snap afterwards. So if you want to come join in and take part in that, that'd be really cool. Um, trying to get myself back into reading and trying to do like a hundred book challenge for the year, which is going okay so far, but I'm still a little bit behind. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Mel. Thank you for that. Yeah. Lady Cleve, do you have uh, anything to add? That, anything uh, coming up well, or any Nothing plans? really. Um, I do want to try to start streaming more because I've decided I'm going to try to get affiliate again. Um, so we'll see if, if, as long as the, uh, work schedule and everything, my sleep schedule works out, I think, I think that that's what I'd like to do. So, um, but I'd also just like to add something came to mind just at the end of our last segment there. Um, I wonder if Hinterland will come out with something we were talking about end games. There is no end game to the, to the long dark. Would they come out with something that say after 150 days, you can unlock or something like that. Okay. You know, it, it was, is there something that might be coming in that regard? But um, anyway, i um, very glad to be here today. And I'd like to say hello to everybody um, that I haven't said anything in chat to. So that's it. <laughs> Great. Doom, do you have anything for us? Uh, well, uh, well, you can see me on YouTube as well as uh, on Twitch. That's same name, Doom QC eighty nine. Um, what what I have to announce? Well, uh, nothing really special ex except that uh, my evening where I stream the Long Dark, since we're talking about Long Dark, is going to be on Tuesday now instead of Wednesday. I've been on Wednesday for a while, but work some change uh, in work uh, in my schedule is coming, so I decided to made, made it back to Tuesday. So you can see me uh, on Tuesdays for the Long Dark. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Doom. Uh, sweet. What you got going on? Um, Not a whole lot. Just kind of... Um, I've been taking a little bit of breaks. It's been a busy month, but hopefully things will start to slow down soon. Um, but I've just kind of been doing some variety streaming. Um, I hope to start streaming the long dark again soon. Um, I kind of burnt myself out over uh, over the holiday for that because of the tournament and then the new yeah. update. Mm -hmm. um, I put a lot of time into that game. So I'm kind of starting to get that itch again. So um, awesome. hope to do that again soon. But other than that, nothing really uh, too crazy coming up. So Cool, cool. I want to ask everybody in chat, uh, feel free to please go check these people out and if you if you really like what you see please give them a follow they're great people very supportive in the community and I, i'm just an honor to have them here today i'm just going to make a small announcement myself and then we can call this here um next podcast i obviously don't have a date yet because i'm still working on scheduling but next podcast i have two very very special guests coming next podcast i've already spoken to them quite a bit extensively on getting um scheduling done okay. um and i'll let everybody know as things go on but you're gonna love it it's gonna be great I have two very good good people coming on i have um people in the queue for next guests uh and i'll let everybody know who they are when they it are gets when concrete it gets and everything so um 
that's what we're going to do. Uh, as far as me streaming, I'm just going to be streaming my usual stuff, but I have a couple challenges that I'm working on in my brain because of the new update and everything. I'm going to try to get some other kind of challenges going on. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm just going to be me still, and I don't have anything special at this point except for the upcoming podcast and um, and that. So. All right, so I want to thank everybody for coming in. Let me just, I know some people have said goodbye, so let me just make sure that. Um, I, I did want to point uh, out, okay. um, Wendy said she wanted to say something to Lady Q, so I told her to go ahead. Oh, okay. uh, oh looks like she just said something. Oh, okay. I uh, just got to give Lady some applause for her being such a supporter of new players and new streamers. Oh, oh Wendy. Lovely. Wendy, thank you. Lady Q so has an affinity for this community. I sure. do, and I care about this game, and I care about those who play this game. As do I. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I feel the way I do, and why I do what I do, and do all these extra hours coming up with tournaments and everything. It's because I, I care about, and I want to give people something, something to do. <laughs> you know. So I it's also awesome. want to put a shout out, give a shout out to LD for coming up with this podcast idea. And thank you, LD yeah, and Sweet. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great job, LD and Sweet, as always. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. Okay, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna just we're just gonna let everybody go. I'm not gonna do a raid today. Um, I my mom is actually on her way over. I just got a text, so I, I need to, to call it and be here for when she gets in. So uh, what I'm gonna okay. do is I'm just gonna let everybody go, and you can free to go wherever you like. And um, I just want to say thank you for the gift subs and the followers and the love. I appreciate all of you. And um, we'll see you next time. Okay? Thanks, everyone. Thank, thank you, you, everyone. Nice to see everyone. Goodbye. Love you all. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.